Okay, welcome back. And today we're going to paint. I'm going to tell you how to paint and uh, put custom decals on your car. And as you can see, I put the web address on the back of our Renault Formula Renault 3.5. Uh, I couldn't get rid of the Renault bit, but say uh, I'm just going to show you like the basics, because uh, a lot of people probably see me driving around in cars and car. Oh, how does he do that? Well, I'm going to show you what I do. It's probably not the best. I'm probably not the best at it, but uh, yeah, we get by. Okay, so we want to change the color I mean they give you once you've downloaded it uh, they give you the basic blue color but I want it lime green so I'm gonna click the bucket and then click base that dyes the car um, lime green and our selected color but you want to go ahead and you're gonna want to download this from iRacing so in the paint me section as I sort of showed earlier go there download it and it'll come up as a Photoshop file uh, Photoshop you have to kind of um, I mean, I, I don't know where you're going to get Photoshop from. That's down to you. Um, but yeah, we go from there. Okay, we're going to want to save what we've done so far. So, you know, first, actually, let's uh, let's, put some, let's put our logo on it. And it's all about matching up to the part of the car that we want. So Because I haven't saved it yet, we're stuck on the blue. But we've dyed it lime green, so that's fine. But yeah, we want, uh, so we've got our logo here, so we've got the channel logo. And we're going to put it around here. Because we can just drag it to where we want it. You have to flip it upside down, so make a duplicate, and then you flip it upside down as well. Because you, know, you want it for the other side so they match. So it's all about getting the right parts of the car. And this does take a bit of time. But that's fine once you've, once you've got it, so we're going to copy it again. I should do the same for the other side. Oh, my God. Okay, so we drag. Oh, this does happen. Photoshop is extremely fiddly, and I am uh, fairly new with it, so please bear with for the time being. Okay, so we want it there, but we've got to flip it upside down like that, so it's even on both sides, or yeah, it will, it will show the right way, basically. Okay, so then what we do is to get the preview of that. We save it in, we go to documents, iRacing, paints, and then you find the car that you're painting. So Formula Renault 3.5, and then you save it as a Targa file. So just down here. And then you go at the car, and then underscore, and then your, um, your customer number, which should be available here on the right-hand side. If you don't know customer number, and there we go. Look, we put the logo into iRacing. Okay, now I want to put text either side of the car. So look, there we go. We got one side, but we want to put it on that side now. Look, we cocked up a little bit there. So we bring that down there, and we rotate it like so. And we go paste. And put it there. There we go. Okay, so that's the car. They're on roughly the like um, opposite side of each other now. Probably not the most accurate, but there we go. And then it's important that you keep saving it um, to that file as Targa, and then because that allows you to preview it every time. So you can you can see your car as you paint it. You're probably going to get a lot better at this than me. But there we go. That's roughly how I want it. Um, that's good for the moment. Okay, so I think I'll leave it there. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.